what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of connection or network issue you or error you're currently having with ghost streak and breakpoint so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want to you guys know or let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it will really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me, guys. You would support my work on YouTube a little bit, and I'm going to really, really be thankful for that, and I'm going to thank you for that. So, anyways, I would just say, let's get right started. So, the first step is going to be to take your keyboard. You're going to click the Windows and the R key at the same time. This tab will pop up, and I want you to type in what I'm going to type in, so CMD. Afterwards, this tab will pop up, and I want you to just copy what I'm going to type in, so ipconfig space slash flush DNS. DNS and hit enter. Once it is successfully flushed, as you can see, you should be able to end this task again. Navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen. We're going to click into the window symbol, click into the settings, and navigate right into your network and internet. We're going to go to the very bottom where it says network troubleshooter. You're going to use your windows in order to find any kind of issue you could currently have. Afterwards, click into network and sharing center, so one above. Navigate to the top left corner of your screen. We're going to click into the second link where it says change adapter settings. You're going to stick to the spot where it either says internet or ethernet. It just depends on which one you're currently using. You're going to right click and simply hit disable. This will take quite a few seconds, so enable it again. The enabling process could take quite a while, so just wait patiently until it's connected again. And once it is connected, guys, this should be it. And you will have no errors anymore, hopefully. And yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And yeah, guys, I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one, and bye.